Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to show you how to make your own potassium fertilizer solution for use in your plant's tank. Now potassium is one of those nutrients which plants often require in high quantities and happens to be relatively scarce in many aquariums. So it's for these reasons you may wish to dose potassium to give your plants the edge they need. Let's start the project. For this project, you'll need a gallon of distilled water and some type of bottle to serve as the container for your fertilizer solution. You can use any size and style of bottle you want. It'll only change one calculation we'll make later in the video. Just make sure that it has a cap. We're choosing to use the one liter brown glass bottle you see on the left. You'll also need an amount of potassium chloride and a gram scale, both of which can be found for relatively inexpensive online. Last, you'll need a 50 mil syringe and a piece of vinyl tubing which will serve as the needle for the syringe, making it easier to extract and dose our aquarium. we found that every 4 inches of this tubing will account for roughly 1 mil of solution. Now that we know what we need, let's talk about what concentration of potassium we want to achieve in our aquarium and how to go about making that solution. The estimated index suggests that we maintain a concentration between 10 and 30 milligrams per liter potassium in our aquarium. Don't forget that milligrams per liter is the same as saying parts per million. We're going to aim to dose our aquarium with 20 milligrams per liter, that way we're right in the middle of this index. Now to make our solution, we need to start by doing some basic stoichiometry. There's a few variables throughout this calculation, but we'll go over them at the end. We start by writing down our desired concentration being 20 milligrams per liter. We then divide by 39.1 grams, which is the molecular weight of potassium. Next, we multiply by 74.55 grams, which is the molecular weight of our fertilizer, potassium chloride. It's at this point we want to get out of milligrams and into grams, so we divide by 1000 milligrams. The last step in this calculation involves multiplying by the volume in liters your aquarium is. We're using a 55 gallon aquarium, which is 209 liters. Now don't forget that 1 gallon equals 3.8 liters, so you can put your own number here. When we do the math above, we end up getting 7.96 grams, which is the amount of KCL you would add to your aquarium if you were dry dosing. Since we're making a solution, we get to decide the volume of each dose. We're going to choose 30 mils. Last, we multiply by 1000 mils, which is the volume of our fertilizer container. When we do this calculation, we end up getting 265.67 grams, which is the amount of potassium chloride you'd need to add to your 1000 mil container. Every time you extract 30 mils from this solution and add it to your aquarium, you'll be dosing a concentration of 20 milligrams per liter. Now let's talk about which numbers in this calculation are subject to change. The first one is the desired concentration. We recommend sticking with 20 milligrams per liter because it fits right in the middle of the index and because it will account for any background levels of potassium you probably have in your tank. The next number that's subject to change is the volume of the aquarium you're dosing. To find out how many liters your aquarium is, simply take the volume in gallons and multiply it by 3.8. We can also change the volume of each dose. We picked 30 mils because we're using a 50 mil syringe and because this volume enabled us to stay underneath the solubility max for potassium chloride. If we were to go over this solubility max, we wouldn't be able to dissolve all of our potassium chloride into solution, thus reducing the concentration of each dose. And the last number we can change is the volume of our fertilizer container. For example, if you were using a 2 liter bottle to house your solution, you would put down 2000 mils. If you don't feel comfortable doing these calculations, or you just want to double check your work, we posted a link in the description to a fertilizer calculator that'll do all the math for you. Now let's get back to the project and make our solution. Start by turning on your scale and weighing out the appropriate amount of KCL which we calculated previously. Add your fertilizer to your container with the help of a funnel. Next, fill your container all the way up to the top with your distilled water. Screw on your cap and shake well for about 30 seconds to dissolve all the fertilizer. Don't forget to add a label with the appropriate dosing information. To dose our aquarium, we start by attaching a piece of vinyl tubing. Don't forget that every 4 inches of this tubing will account for roughly 1 mil of solution. So when we go to extract each dose, we want to pull the plunger on the syringe back to where the liquid reaches the 29 mil mark. This will account for a full 30 mils because 1 mil of solution is in that vinyl tubing. And now you're ready to dose your aquarium with a concentration of 20 milligrams per liter potassium. We recommend adding this dose to only heavily planted aquariums 2 to 3 times per week. To learn more about important compounds in the aquarium, as well as how to take advantage of understanding the biology taking place, check out more of our aquarium science videos on our channel and website. 